looking for the ideal small dog for your family? This series of all the small dog breeds may make the decision a bit easier. To make the cut, the breed must be purebred, sorry, no designer dogs here, and under 25 pounds, although some may have individual members over 25 pounds. Let's get started. Affin Pincer If you are searching for a spunky and completely devoted small dog, the Affin Pincer or Monkey Terrier may be the perfect dog for you. It's quite a rare breed in the US, however this toy breed usually weighs in between 7 to 9 pounds, and definitely captures the attention of dog fanciers. This is a companion breed that's inquisitive and intelligent and typically quiet unless it hears something. The Affin Pincer is the quintessential small dog with a huge personality. It's also an active breed, but thanks to its small size, it can get most of its exercise needs running around or playing in their home. Alaskan Clique The Alaskan Clique is rare, but it is absolutely, completely adorable. Developed in the 1970s, this is also a fairly new breed, initially bred from a small farm husky. The Alaskan Clique is a loving and loyal dog, but they do need a lot of socialization as pups, or they may not tolerate being around people they don't know very well. Like the huskies which they originated from, they can be somewhat high-strung and do require lots of firm and consistent training, because they are intelligent and get bored quite easily. As such, they are not the most ideal breed for novice dog owners. The Alaskan Clique, the American Eskimo dog is a Spitz type dog, originating from the German Spitz brought to America by German immigrants. If intelligence and good looks are both essential to you, the American Eskimo dog just might be the perfect dog for your family. It also comes in three sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. Toys weigh in between 6 to 11 pounds, miniatures 10 to 21 pounds, and standards between 22 and 40 pounds. Only the miniature and the standard are recognized by the American Kennel Club. Bear that in mind if you see the AKC registered toys. Among popular breeds, the American Eskimo is most alike to the Pomeranian. This is a very loyal and people-oriented family dog that definitely needs to be around family. Of course, brushing will be used as bonding time, as American Eskimos shed a lot and you'll be needing to rake that undercoat out as much as you can. An American Hairless Terrier is basically a hairless rat terrier, but they are recognized as a separate breed and do have other traits that separate them from the rat terrier. One of the more significant traits is that they are smaller, weighing between 10 and 16 pounds. They are an energetic breed, but can thrive in the city and in an apartment, given they get a daily walk to use up some of their energy, of course. Zooming around your house is to be expected. This is strictly an indoor breed, and special care must be taken to protect your hairless from sunburn and cold temperatures. If you are an allergy sufferer, this is a breed to consider. The Australian Terrier is a true terrier bred to hunt mice and rats, and even sometimes to herd sheep. This is a tough little dog. It's smart, fun-loving, and adventurous. The perfect dog for fun, outgoing, and adventurous families that enjoy the great outdoors. Despite the long hair, the Australian Terrier will have minimal grooming requirements and shedding is manageable. Like most Terriers, however, you will need to have experience with training dogs before taking on this breed. They will take over a nervous or inexperienced handler, and physical exercise is an absolute must. Looking for a barkless dog? This is one of the few breeds in the world that absolutely does not bark. Don't misunderstand, it does make noise. It's just not a bark. It's more of a yodel. But they only yodel when excited or hunting. Generally weighing between 15 and 22 pounds, this small dog from the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a high energy sight hound and loves to give chase to things that run. The Basenji is not really very fond of children unless raised around them from pups and well socialized around children. Keep that in mind if you have or are intending to have children. You know what's amazing about beagles? Everything. This is why they've been so popular among dog lovers for quite a while. 
From hunting to family pets, Beagle is a well-rounded, friendly, gentle, and entertaining dog. They can also be naughty. Beagles love to eat and will perform amazing tricks to get to food, including finding ways to climb onto your counters. Beagles completely adore their owners and get along with almost everyone they meet. They can be pretty vocal and their bays and brews can be heard for some distance. If you live in an apartment, this could be a problem for you. Once you've laid eyes on the long-legged and curly-haired Beddington Terrier, you will instantly recognize the breed from then on. It looks like a little lamb. Originating in the 19th century England to hunt rabbits, foxes, and weasels, this terrier is an energetic and athletic small dog breed. Today, they are not utilized much for hunting, so these little dogs have shifted into family homes as companions. But this is a rare breed in the US, and even in its native England. They do need very frequent grooming to detangle their coats, but they don't shed, and they make an excellent choice for people with allergies, and that sweet and happy, not-so-terrier-like temperament will steal your heart. If socialized and trained early to curb their somewhat stubborn nature and strong prey drive, they make excellent pets and are good with families, children, singles, and couples. The Bichon Freeze is one of those dogs that was bred from the very beginning to be a companion dog. This is a friendly, playful, and affectionate breed that does well in any family situation, from singles to those of the house full of kids. They are pretty popular, and who could resist that fluffy powder puff coat and those large dark eyes? And their intelligence and eager to please nature will win over your heart. They do require a fairly sizable grooming commitment, however. This is not a wash and go dog. But they shed little and are considered among one of the most hypoallergenic breeds. Also a companion breed, the Beaver Terrier is a spirited, courageous, and alert family dog. They may look similar to a Yorkie Maltese mix, but the Beaver Terrier is truly a breed of its own. There are multiple similarities with the Yorkshire Terrier. One of the major differences is its upturned tail, held over its back, covered with a luxurious plume of hair. This small dog has a poor understanding of its small size, and will try and take on much larger dogs. They are fearless, devoted, and excellent at finding fun ways to entertain themselves and you. And they make wonderful companions as they are affectionate and love to warm a lap or two. A Bichon breed like the Bichon Frise, Maltese, and Havanese. It's hard to resist the stuffed animal look of the Balinese, with its dark eyes, black button nose, drop ears, and plush soft white coat. And that relaxed, playful, and loyal personality is an ideal combination for a companion dog. But, unlike the Bichon and Maltese, this is a rare breed, making them not only challenging to find, but even more difficult to afford. But, if you are searching for an affectionate dog that is both intelligent and likes to please, the time and money spent finding a Balinese may be well worth it. Not so common in the US, the Border Terrier is a more interesting and spunky little terrier than many people know, as most would assume, just it's some little mutt. This is perhaps one of the most unassuming small dog breeds you'll ever come across. But what's not to love? It looks a little like a Benji dog. This is a terrier through and through, and will require exercise, training, and socialization. They're quick learners, but can be a bit hard-headed. And if something else looks more interesting, you've completely lost your border's attention. And it's been said that borders never outgrow their desire to chew. So shoe lovers, be warned. One of the more popular small dog breeds is the Boston Terrier. If you're looking for a lively, energetic, and highly entertaining ball of energy, then this may be the perfect small dog breed for you. They are extremely intelligent and love to learn, therefore training is as easy as could be. They also don't require any special exercise, only excessive love. Bostons can entertain anyone for hours on end because of their sweet nature, clown-like personality. But, be aware, they do get gas quite often, thanks to their short, flat face. The Brazilian Terrier is a rare breed that to us looks much like the Rat Terrier. This is a dog with tons of energy to spare and needs lots of space to run with plenty of exercises. This is not a dog for couch potatoes. It will also bark and bark and bark. So if you can manage to find one, be ready to deal with that. 
The unique looking Brussels griffin is at its best when it is the center of attention. This little attached companion breed will rarely be far from your side. Its personality reflects the many breeds that went into creating this little dog. Affectionate, spunky, sensitive, sweet, cuddly, and comical. It has the self-confidence of a terrier and the loving nature of a spaniel. It's intelligent and active, but needs to be appropriately trained and socialized to be the best pet it can be. Are you enjoying our series so far? Have we shared your favorite small dog breed yet? Or are you looking for your newest family member? This series of all small dog breeds may that make that decision a bit simpler. So let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z. Heron Terrier, Heron, one syllable. This is a confident, independent terrier which is loyal to his family and friendly to everyone. This small terrier breed is definitely best known for his role as Toto in the 1939 classic Wizard of Oz, played by a female Cairn named Terry. The Cairn has incredible adaptability, which has enabled it to share homes with urban apartment dwellers, rural farm folk, and everything in between. Initially bred to hunt vermin, this is a tough little dog with a muscular build who continues to excel at canine agility, conformation, and terrier trials. If you're searching for a warm-spirited, independent, content dog that is wonderful with children, this might be the breed for you. There are two breeds of Corgi. The less popular, but equally as charming, is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Among the differences, the Cardigan comes complete with a wagging tail. Loyal, loving, intelligent, and alert are just a few of the terms that Corgi owners use to describe their dogs. This goes for both breeds equally. Comfortable on the farm, in a suburban household, or in a city apartment, these dogs are amazing at obedience, tracking, agility, rally hunting, or simply acting as a family companion. Speaking of family companions, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a companion dog through and through. Cavalier lovers use terms like lovable, sweet, gentle, playful, and devoted lap warmers and bed companions to describe this adorable pup that has grown in popularity over the past few decades. A less perky descendant of the English Toy Spaniel, which we'll talk about later in this video, it has grown into one of the most popular breeds in his homeland of the UK, and is increasingly popular in the US. At 13 to 18 pounds, this is one of the biggest dogs on the American Kennel Club's toy list, but still quite small for a Spaniel. These friendly, quick-to-train dogs are excellent with children and can adjust to almost any living situation. Inside of its native Czech Republic, you are not likely to cross paths with the Kesky Terrier. They are extremely rare. The American Kennel Club approximates less than a thousand are in the U.S. But this is a tough little terrier bred to hunt hare, foxes, and even deer that has transitioned well into the role of a family pet. It has a sweet and easygoing temperament paired with an eagerness to please. It is also very much at home in any living situation, city or country, with singles or with families, with kids, and even other dogs. The Chihuahua. They are a popular and well-loved breed, rightly so. They come in both long-haired and short-coat varieties. Both are fairly low-maintenance dogs. There are tons of great things we can say about the Chihuahua. It is loyal to a fault, lovable, smart, and loves having fun. However, they do have a tendency to be left unsocialized, which often means you end up with a little terror. We're 100% going to blame this on the Karen types that raise them. Otherwise, when raised properly, this is an excellent family pet or even a companion for a retired single person. There are two types of Chinese Cresteds, the Powder Puff and the Hairless. Though neither is completely hairless. While the Powder Puff has a full coat, the Hairless has hair on his head, around the feet, and the tip of his tail. The remainder of the dog is bald. It's quite cute. Initially bred as a ratter, this upbeat, happy, and devoted little dog is part of the American Kennel Club's toy group. Although fairly athletic, this little breed will be quite happy to spend the entire day vegging on the couch watching Netflix with you. There is a 95% chance I am going to mispronounce this dog's name. In truth, I had not heard of the Cerneco de Letna, 
prior to researching this video. Recently, part of the American Kennel Club Hound Group, this little dog that looks similar to the larger feral hound was bred in, St in Sicily to hunt rabbits and birds. Strong and lively, yet gentle and loving, they are a great pick for families with children. The Cocker Spaniel, also known as the American Cocker Spaniel, is a cuddly, gentle, and loving small spaniel breed that originates from the somewhat larger English Springer Spaniel. In fact, the Cocker, or Cocking Spaniel, was at one time just a term for a small sprinkler spaniel. Although it started a hunting dog, the Cocker the Cocker has made itself a name as a family pet with its sweet, loyal, and playfully friendly with everyone personality. Richardine Mascara, the Coton de Tulier, is an American Kennel Club toy breed related to the Bichon Frise, Maltese, and Javanese. Like those other Bichon breeds, the Coton de Tulier is devoted, very intelligent, and can be quite the clown. Only for companionship throughout the centuries, these dogs are alert, happy, lively, and slow to anger. Cottons are not much into barking, but they can behave as a watchdog, notifying you when someone is at your door. Their sweet nature, cute appearance, and clownish antics charm anyone who has the chance to get to know one. The miniature wiener dog is quite a playful dog. As far as their coat, they come in long-haired, smooth coat, and wide hair varieties. In terms of size, they most often come in miniature and much bigger standard sizes, with a middle size also seen in Germany. Keep in mind that the American Kennel Club does not recognize toy dashes. Inquisitive, loving, intelligent, and comical are terms used to describe the dash -out. These dogs were designed to be hunters above and below the ground, and these traits are clear in their strong prey drive, their propensity to dig, and their intense devotion to the task at hand. A very sturdy breed, they are however prone to problems with their long extended backs, so precautions should be taken when carrying and holding them. Like many terriers, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier comes from the border between England and Scotland. Its initial purpose was to, like many other terriers, kill rats and other pests. Today, they are known for their loving commitment to their families. Dandies are small and cute with a personality to match. They are independent and intelligent, and do well with children and families. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier has claimed the nickname the Gentleman of the Terrier World. This could not be more perfect for this well-mannered breed. If you or your family is in the market for a gentle, kind, and loyal pup that is quite rare and unique, then search no further than the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Originally bred to be a ratter, the Dutch Schmushund is more or less considered a companion breed today. Highly loyal and bonded to their family, these dogs are less friendly to strangers. They make wonderful watchdogs because they are alert, tend to bark, and are unsure of anyone they don't know. Thought to be related to the Schnauzer, they are incredibly rare outside of their home country in the Netherlands. Named King Charles Spaniel in the UK, the English Toy Spaniel is the forefather of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. At first glance, you might mistake one for the other. These dogs are peaceful, quiet, and dignified. However, don't let that proud appearance deceive you. They can be very foolish and playful, affectionate, and loyal. Their small size makes them the ideal travel partner, and their quiet nature is a big bonus for apartment dwellers. They do bark, but not overall, and are not particularly yappy like many other small dogs are. We love the Frenchie. It's one of the most popular breeds, not only in the US, but worldwide. A French Bulldog is both completely adorable and an amazing companion. If cuteness and best friend are on your must-have list, then you can have the best of both worlds from the French Bulldog. Like me, this breed is extremely good at sitting around and being cute. Whether it's the pushed-in face, adorable snorting, and their bubbly personality, they're very irresistible. The French Bulldog's most well-known characteristics are their tail and erect bat ears. An ancient breed from, that's right, you guessed it, Germany. The German Spitz is a sociable, playful, and quiet vocal companion and farm dog. The German Spitz is an affectionate and intelligent, party-colored dog that loves to be with his pet. Their playful and inquisitive energy is ideal for both families and individuals. If you want a dog for kids, this dog coexists well with the kids for a whole host of reasons. 
The first and most noticeable desirable quality is the dog's size. These dogs are not likely to hurt smaller children on accident by bumping into or knocking them over. Enjoying our series so far? Have you learned about any new small dog breeds yet? Or are you still searching for your newest family member? This series of all small dog breeds may make that decision a bit simpler. Let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z. Starting with Havanese. If you're looking for an adjustable, amusing, and overall humorous companion dog, the Havanese could be the ideal dog for you. Even though this Bichon breed is classified as a toy breed, it's sturdy and not particularly fragile. Wonderful for a family with smaller children. Originating from the island nation of Cuba, these small dogs have the most adorable little spring in their step. Due to the fact that their front legs are slightly shorter than their rear legs, this gives them a little bounce which appears to make everything they do even more amusing. They're not yappy or snappy like a lot of other toy dogs, which makes them perfect for city life or the adventurous RV dweller. When you think of small dogs, sheepdog typically doesn't come to mind. But at 20 to 30 pounds, the Icelandic sheepdog straddles the line between medium and small dogs. Thought to be companions of the ancient Vikings, according to dog time, the Icelandic sheepdog breed was utilized to protect flocks, especially lambs, from birds of prey. They still keep the habit of watching the sky and barking at birds, as well as everything else they see or hear. This breed is also called the Icelandic Spitz, or just Icelandic dog. They are loyal, content, and attentive, with ton tons of energy to play. At the same time, they are affectionate and ready to cuddle with family. They have a personality that will cause them to fit right in as a member of any family. Sometimes called the Indian Pomeranian because of its looks, the Indian Spitz is in fact its own breed. This companion breed is the result of India banning international dog breeds in the 1980s and 1990s. And despite being fairly popular in India, it is not well known outside of the country, nor is it recognized by the major kettle clubs. The dog that is well known almost everywhere is the Italian Greyhound. This American kennel club toy breed is gentle, devoted, and generally calm. They are real creatures of comfort, and though pretty athletic, would much rather lie in your lap for much of the day. This is definitely a certified lap dog. They are quiet and tolerant of cold weather. In fact, so much so that Italian Greyhound lovers tend to train them to use potty pads or litter boxes. Luckily, the best known Jack Russell Terrier is Wishbone, a kids show on PBS that was produced between 1995 and 1997 starring the titular Wishbone, played by a Jack Russell Terrier named Soccer. Like the character in the show, Jack Russell Terriers are incredibly cute, curious, and always looking for a new adventure. But don't let their clever antics and friendly looks deceive you. They are strong-minded with energy to burn, and those traits paired with a high level of intelligence make these dogs a challenge to train, and not suggested for novice dog owners. The Jag Terrier, aka German Hunting Terrier, is not the first dog you think of when considering a family companion, but they are increasing in popularity among non-hunters. Developed in Germany between the two world wars, breeders were focused on creating a German version of the Fox Terrier. The dog we end up getting today is an energetic, playful dog that gets along well with people, including children. They enjoy playing and will not easily be worn out making them all an all-round wonderful playmate for active families. They are also gentle and patient, so you won't have to worry about things getting out of hand. They can be protective, so socialize them from an early age. A small companion breed dating back to antiquity, the Japanese Chin is usually described as an affectionate, sweet, and playful breed. While lively and playful, the Chin does not require much in terms of physical exercise. Most of their requirements can be met by following you around the house, which they will do pretty often. They do quite like a daily short walk and play session with their favorite human. Most chins are quiet, which is a great big bonus for those who do not want a yappy dog. Because of their similar resemblance to other small white dogs, the American Kennel Club doesn't recognize the Japanese Spitz. 
Some even say they look like a miniature Samoyed. What is similar is the fact that these dogs, as well as with other breeds, such as the German Spitz, Kaysan, and Malamut, all belong to the Spitz family. Intelligent and playful, these dogs are alert and bold, making them great watchdogs, but not suitable guard dogs, as they would pose little threat to intruders above their ankle. Originating in the 20th century Japan, the Japanese Terrier is a highly rare breed, even in Japan, but you may see them lounging on a sofa here and there. They don't require a lot of exercise to keep the mind and body active. A 30 minute walk is all that is needed to keep the Japanese Terrier happy and content. I'm definitely going to mispronounce this dog's name. I just can't speak Dutch very well. The Netherlands, Koiker Hunja, is a happy, intelligent, and adaptable small dog. Initially created as a working dog to assist duck hunters, Early in the breed's history, people discovered how ideal these dogs were for family life, and they built a reputation as acting as a beloved family pet. Rare outside of Europe, these dogs are always white and orange with a full thick tail. The German breed, Kronforlander, is quite a, the rare breed, particularly in the US and even in Europe. This is a loyal, people-oriented breed that desires the attention of a special person. These high-spirited docile dogs are friendly with people they know, but can be a bit reserved around people they don't know. Like a Chihuahua, they tend to be a one-person dog. At 22 to 31 pounds, these dogs land on the upper border of our list in terms of size. Lake Glen Terrier is a playful, curious, and clever member of the American Kennel Club Terrier group. First bred as a ratter in England in the 1700s, it has unique characteristics that separate them from other terriers and make it particularly desirable to many people. Like the typical terrier though, the Lakeland puts on a show of confidence, intelligence, and friendliness. The most common trait that all terriers display is their independence and energy level. These dogs are definitely no catch potatoes and require daily exercise to keep them happy and occupied. Also bred in England, the Lancashire Healer was created to be a herder and drover. Much like the more popular Corgis, if you are in the US, you'll be lucky to ever cross paths with the breed, and they are even placed on the endangered breeds list in the UK due to their dwindling numbers. Historians think that the original ancestors of the breed included Welsh Corgi and some type of black and tan terriers, most probably the Manchester Terriers. A Tibetan dog of antiquity, this small companion dog was initially developed as a watchdog for Tibetan monasteries. As such, it is much as bold and loyal as it is playful. The Hasses are adorable, sweet, and popular. The Hasses can also be very strong-willed or prone to small dog syndrome. That is the condition which the dog seems to believe they are the alpha dog and that the human should listen to them. But this is typically to be blamed on irresponsible humans, not the dog itself. Originally bred as a companion dog in France and Germany in the 1500s, the Loatian is a cuddly, spunky, and devoted small dog that looks like a small lion when his hair is trimmed. The name Loatian actually means little lion, but their appearance is not generally why people fall in love with them. It's about the personality. They're intelligent, affectionate, lively, and outgoing, genuine companion dogs through and through. I might add, they are considered one of the healthier dog breeds and do very well with children. Enjoying our series so far. Are there any breeds missed or are you looking for your newest family member? This series of all small dog breeds may make that decision a bit simpler. So let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z. Starting with the Maltese. A companion dog stretching back to ancient Roman times, the Maltese is a lap dog through and through. Words often used to describe the ancient dog of Malta include brave, friendly, and sociable. This little dog is a ball of energy and always ready to have fun with his favorite human. These dogs have been developed to be companions since antiquity. In fact, they were bred to be all white because Romans wanted their little dogs to have an aura of divinity. Originally bred in 16th century England as a ratter, the Manchester Terrier is presently considered a toy breed and spends more time playing with humans than on the trail of rodents. 
This lively, inquisitive, and playful small dog is at times called the Gentleman's Terrier. It's energetic, intelligent, and playful, making it a great choice for active families. Even though they are brimming with energy, they are highly adaptable and will adjust themselves to whatever lifestyle you have. After they have used all their energy with a good play session, they can sit or sleep quietly on you while you watch Netflix and relax. The Meekly breed is a rare small dog breed that has been bred through mixing three small dogs, the Maltese, the Papillon, and the Japanese Chin. They weigh between five to eight pounds, but can be smaller. The breed is an extremely intelligent little dog that can charm anyone. Bonus is that it's a non-shedding breed with hair rather than fur. Perfect for those with allergies. Although no dog should be thought of as 100% hypoallergenic before spending some time with the breed, what puts this breed apart from mixed dog breed dogs is a strict breeding program with DNA profiling through the United Kennel Club. A relatively new breed that was first bred in the US in the 1960s. The miniature American Shepherd is a small stock herding dog and companion. Energetic, versatile, and bright are just a couple of ways to describe these little herding dogs that resemble their larger cousin, the U.S. native and strangely named Australian Shepherd. Miniature American Shepherd fanciers think of them as excellent family dogs, which are gentle with children, tolerant of other dogs and family pets, and an absolute joy to be around. The Miniature Bull Terrier is identical to the Bull Terrier except for the size. Personality, grooming, health, and training requirements were all identical, and in fact, both breeds were classified as one until 1991 when the American Kennel Club split them into two separate breeds. They wish to be part of the action and will demand to be included in all family activities, even if it is just for a trip in the car. Being terriers though, they will keep you entertained with their funny antics and cute personality traits. Their protective temperament makes them good watchdogs, but they are usually friendly with guests once they get acquainted. On the other hand, the miniature pincer is not a tiny version of the larger Doberman pincer. In reality, the breed is about 100 years older than a Doberman. These little dogs are surprisingly playful and athletic and love to interact with everyone. If a small, cute, and playful dog is something you may be interested in, then check out the Minpin, and you might have found your perfect match. The miniature Schnauzer is no stranger to us. The breed was named for his distinctive and unique muzzle. Schnauzer means snout or small breed in German. It is an intelligent, capable dog and responds well to training. They are eager to please and devoted to their family. They are active and enjoy and require a, day a daily walk and play sessions in the yard. Since they are so versatile, they make great pets for people in apartments, city living, or suburban and rural locations. Best of all, this breed oozes personality and spunk. The Norfolk Terrier, though rare in the US, is an active, outgoing companion that can also be a hardworking and fearless hunter. Weighing in at only 12 pounds, this is a little dog with a huge personality. Calling it tenacious and independent would be a bit of an understatement, but they exude charm and affection to their owners. The Norwegian Lunderhund may not be too large, but it has a mischievous and intelligent personality, which keeps it quite busy. Whether they're digging a hole in the yard or barking at squirrels, these dogs have lots of curious energy. The Norwegian Lunderhund is well known for being an ancient breed. Research suggests that these dogs have been residing around in cooperation with humans for thousands of years, perhaps even since before the last ice age. mixed up with the previously mentioned Norfolk Terrier, the Norwich Terrier is an all-purpose ratter breed in England in the 19th century. The difference between the two breeds is that the Norwich has a prick upright ears while the Norfolk Terrier has floppy ears. They are short, small terriers and their adorable faces somewhat resemble a fox. This breed's cute appearance and trainability mean they are very popular in Hollywood and TV commercials. 
The Norwich Terrier is a very active and playful pup with very high spirits and high energy levels. They are not to be mistook for lap dogs. The Papillon, with his butterfly ears, is also no stranger to fans of this channel. The first thing that most people notice about this breed is the ears that stand erect and are set high on the head. Hair grows and drapes over the ears and long fringes, creating the look of butterfly wings. These petite friendly dogs are alert, extremely intelligent, and easily trainable, making them a perfect choice for families, singles, and couples. As adaptability goes, they thrive in the city, the suburbs, and the country, or basically anywhere, but they have increased in popularity in cities as ideal condo or apartment trailers. Other than the name, the Parson Russell Terrier is a Jack Russell Terrier, although there are some that will argue there are differences in shape and size. The primary reason for the difference in name boils down to controversy with the American Kennel Club and trademark claims by the Jack Russell Terrier Club of America. That said, these dogs are hyper and crazy and love to ride, bark, bounce, and climb. They will jump over fences and run out open doors and gates, so bear this in mind when bringing in the groceries or leaving the gate open. Like the Jack Russell Terrier, they are fairly stubborn and independent and can be challenging for novice pet parents. Hard to be a hunting dog that could run and hunt fox, badger, and other small animals, the Patterdale Terrier is exceedingly energetic, loyal, and independent. Although bred to hunt, Many just reside in family homes where they act as family members and loyal companions. Don't let their size surprise you though, their tenacity rivals any terrier breed and their requirement for a great deal of exercise should be taken into consideration. The Lion Dog of Imperial China, in modern days known as the Pekingese, is a loyal and courageous companion dog that dates back to antiquity. Fearless and smart, they make excellent companions, but they are considered to be challenging to train. Their size, paired with their minimal exercise needs, makes them a popular choice as apartment dogs. Named after the capital of China, Peking, now known as Beijing, was initially bred by Buddhist monks. These dogs remained the companion of royalty and resided only in the imperial palace. The early lovers of the breed were so enamored with their lion dogs that they raised their status to royalty and assigned the dogs their own personal servants. I mentioned earlier in this video series that there are two breeds of Corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the more popular of the two. Once one breed, both types of Corgis are now separate breeds, with the most obvious difference being that of the tail. The cardigan has a long, thick tail, whereas the Pembroke has a stub or no tail at all. Other than that, the Pembroke has a shorter body, straighter legs, and ears that end in a tip and stand erect. Having been initially created to be a herder of cattle, they are now usually loyal family pets. They still hold on to their herding instinct styles, so if you have small children, they are likely to be herded. The breed has lots of energy, which means they require regular daily exercise to keep them happy, and they need a job to do. Enjoying our series so far? What's your favorite breed we have shared? Are you looking for your newest family member? This series of all small dog breeds may make that decision a bit simpler. Let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z. We continue our list with an ancient hairless breed from Peru, the rather obvious named Peruvian hairless. You don't get much simpler than that, and as per Wikipedia, one of the most essential aspects of appearance is indeed hairlessness. The dog might have short hair on top of his head and his feet, and on the tip of his tail, but in Peru, breeders tend to be more preferential to completely hairless dogs. They are intelligent, affectionate with family, but nervous of strangers, lively, and alert. They're agile and quick, and many enjoy sight-hunting small rodents. Clearly due to lack of hair, these dogs are intolerant of extreme temperatures, although they are quite comfortable wearing clothing and will even play in the snow if dressed warmly. They typically require an owner that understands dog language and are not recommended for beginners. They learn quickly and they are very smart, but get bored easily with repetitive activities. 
The saline is a papillon with droopy ears. In some countries they are one breed, in others they are not, but they are definitely very much the same dog in all other aspects. If you missed the papillon earlier in the video, you can go back and check out that to learn more. Now, let's move on. Everyone has heard of the Pomeranian and the adorable face that accompanies the name. These little dogs are stereotypical, small, yappy, and very energetic, but also excellent pets to their owners and families. These dogs are highly active and athletic and excel at lots of dog sports, including agility and obedience training. But if you can't keep up with the energy of the lovable Pomeranian, it may not be the right dog for you. They have a ton of personality and demand attention and pampering at all times. They can't get enough. An interesting fact about Pomeranians is that if a dog can be a color or have a specific coat pattern, you will find a Pomeranian to match. They are one of the most diverse dogs on the planet when it comes to coat pattern and color. Poodles come in three sizes, standard, a large dog, miniature, and toy. They are indeed all the same dog, just varying in size. Same breed, but each size is in a different American Kennel Club group, oddly. In spite of its somewhat delicate reputation, the toy poodle was originally bred to be a water retriever. The larger standard poodles are still in use by some hunters today. This is an outgoing, intelligent, and loyal dog breed. The toy poodle can be somewhat yappy at times, but they all make excellent watchdogs, and at under 10 inches in height, they make wonderful apartment dogs. Portuguese Pendengo Pequeno is an intelligent, agile, and loyal hound breed utilized for sight and scent hunting, specifically for rabbits. You have to admit that it's adorable with those erect ears and wedge-shaped head. These little dogs are lively, independent, and extraordinarily intelligent. They are loving and always aim to please their owners, but they are not lap dogs and definitely not couch potatoes. They love to run and play, but should remain within a securely fenced yard as they can take off if something jumps into their line of sight, scent, or hearing range. If it's moving, they will chase it. Progradder, aka the Prasky, oh never mind, you can read it on the screen. You've probably never heard of this breed if you live outside the Czech Republic. Even there, this is a hard to find breed. They were renowned for killing rats and that's how they came by their name. Their tiny size, alert temperament, keen sense of smell, and speed made them the ultimate candidate for reducing the rat population in Europe in the Middle Ages. Today, however, they are thought of as a companion breed, but they'll likely not say no to a good old rat chase if given the opportunity. Not so rare and not so difficult to pronounce is the pug. This comical, adaptable, and easygoing companion dog is hugely popular. Thinking you might be interested in a pug? Well, if you find humorous, adorable, and loving all positive qualities, then a pug may be the absolute perfect dog for you and your family. One unique quality about these little guys is that they will basically adapt to any lifestyle that you lead. If you have a very laid-back lifestyle and like to chill on the couch, watch Netflix, and eat chips, then your pug is your sofa companion. On the other hand, if you are active and enjoy the outdoors, then bring your pug with you. It will adjust to that lifestyle also. Plus, it's the ideal size for city life, but copes well in more rural settings, too. On the other hand, if you live and enjoy the outdoors, then bring your pug with you, but will adjust to that lifestyle also. Plus, it's the ideal size for city life, but copes well in more rural settings, too. Somewhat looking like a small handless mop, the Hungarian pulley dates back to the Middle Ages as a hunting and herding dog. This energetic, agile, sturdy, and affectionate small to medium dog is difficult to mistake as it's covered in naturally corded locks. The pulley is an intelligent and active dog. If a pulley gets adequate exercise, it can reside in the city, but they cope best when not maintained as indoor pets in a small living space. This is not such a good apartment dog. Pulleys kept indoors require a lot of exercise to burn up their energy. Very friendly, especially towards children, they are sensitive and prone to resentment for discipline. Also a herding dog originating from Hungary, the Pumi is an intelligent, outspoken, and bold medium-sized dog that is known for its terrier-like qualities. 
The cheeky and balancing personality of the Kumi are sure to give an owner lots of laughs and memorable moments, with each being a unique addition to the family. The Rat Terrier is an American dog breed in the 20th century for hunting and ratting. Loyal, loving, and bright, these small dogs are the perfect pet for many dog lovers who are searching for a companion and exercise buddy. They apparently got their name from America's 26th president, Teddy Roosevelt. He had one called Skip who did a great job of clearing the White House of a rat problem. After that, he decided to name the breed the Rat Terrier in honor of the work it did. Bred in the early 1800s as a lap dog in pre-Soviet Russia, the Russian Svetnyana Blanka is a sweet, loving, and devoted little dog. It is a charming, curious, clever, and spirited breed. These small dogs have big hearts and make excellent family pets, but in spite of all their positive qualities, this toy breed is still quite rare. If you're looking for a tiny dog with a lot of personality, then Russian Toy Terriers are the perfect dog breed for you. The Russian Toy Terrier, which is also known as the Ruskly Toy Terrier, is one of the tiniest dog breeds in the world, at just 3 to 6 pounds. However, this is not a dog that is in touch with its size. It is energetic and bold, and is always ready to protect and defend its owner like a guard dog. This is a dog that gets along well with everyone, and becomes an important and much-loved member of the family. The Shipper Key is an interesting, small-looking dog. It almost has a cartoonish look to it. Looking directly into his face, you will identify a rather fox-like appearance. Small, triangular, erect ears, and little round feet. The Shipper Key is an agile, active, spitz-type dog that was originally bred to be a watchdog and vermin killer. If you're a color lover, you'll be in for a disappointment. This little dog comes in one color only, black. Perfect for the goth among you. No one mixes up the Scotty dog with any other dog. It's quite unique. It was initially bred in the Scottish Highlands as a fox hunter and vermin dispatcher. These dogs are strong, fast, and alert, yet gentle and loving breed, and were originally trained to hunt and kill vermin. They are now generally kept as house pets. While not typically considered high-maintenance dogs, they do require regular grooming. Their coat needs frequent brushing and clipping to maintain the unique look they are renowned for. Another terrier, originally from Wales in the 1800s, is the CLM Terrier. Also has a pretty distinctive appearance. Considered almost extinct in the UK, this alert, cheerful, fearless terrier is more calm and laid back than many other terriers. They are quiet indoors, but still make good watchdogs. Being generally friendly, they won't provide as much as far as protection goes, but will try their best if the occasion presents itself. They are lovable and loyal, but have a dominant personality that requires an active, consistent owner. We'll complete this series starting with the Shetland Sheepdog, and catch favorites like Toshiba Inu and the butt of some rather pure all jokes, the Shih Tzu. So stick around and keep watching. Thanks for sticking with us this far. We're finally into the home stretch. You are still looking for your newest family member? Hopefully one of these final few breeds will help. So let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z. Many people think of the Shetland Sheepdog as a miniature rough-coated collie and assumed that the breed was dwarfed down from the larger Lassie type dog, but this is simply not the case. While still up for debate, the origin of the breed was most likely a northern Spitz type dog brought to the Shetland Islands by Scandinavian settlers. Throw into the mix some King Charles Spaniel, a Pomeranian, and a Scotch Collie, and years of breeding, and you have the modern day Sheltie. An intensely loyal and intelligent dog with an energy level guaranteed to keep you in shape. With family, it's affectionate, however with strangers it takes more of a waiting stance, but once a Sheltie gets to know you, you're good to go. Fan favorite, perhaps more so because of cryptocurrency and memes than for the breed itself, is the Shiba Inu. In fact, time and time again, when crypto coins, Dogecoin, and Shiba Inu do well, videos featuring the breeds see a rather steep increase in views. However, there is much more to this dog than just a meme or tweets from Elon Musk. 
The Sheba comes with an amazing personality, but this breed is definitely not for everyone. With that stunning smile come some traits that many new dog owners are not prepared to handle. Such as, though being highly intelligent, they are perhaps one of the hardest dog breeds to train, and are notorious for not being great with children and other pets. They were, after all, initially bred to hunt birds, boar, and even bears, so this is a tough little dog with a challenging temperament. They're cute, but not for the novice dog owner. The little lion dog of Chinese antiquity on the other hand, is great with children and other pets, and it is totally happy to laze around on the couch while protecting your home. Of course, they were after all originally bred to stand watch in Buddhist monasteries. Aside from the occasional bark when visitors arrive, the Shih Tzu is not as yappy as a lot of other small dog breeds. This is a loyal, friendly, gentle dog that adores people and will bond with all members of the family. Often mixed up with the more well-known Yorkshire Terrier, which we'll talk about in a bit, the Australian Silky Terrier is bold, confident, curious, and always ready for action. Here is a dog that is Terrier through and through. With all those enduring traits of the breed, smart yet stubborn, and mischievous yet loyal. They're not your typical lap dog, even though they make wonderful companions and great family dogs. Their devotion to their owners, coupled with their small size and low shedding coat, means they are an ideal choice for those in apartments or urban settings. Called Fox Terriers, or Foxies for short, there are two different types that only vary by the type of coat they have. The Smooth Fox Terrier and the Wire Fox Terrier. Both are energetic, outgoing, and highly curious. They have the typical terrier traits of high energy, intelligence, and independence. The smooth fox terrier is sleek and stylish. The fox terrier is not nearly as common today as it was in its prime, but it can be found in the show ring and in hunting circles. It's worth mentioning that most of the terrier breeds we know today have distant relatives in the fox terrier. The Swedish Valhund is an incredible family dog and is lively, self-confident, and loyal. If you think a courageous, enthusiastic friend who can also double as an excellent working dog is for you, this is likely to be your dog. However, it is quite rare in the US and a bit challenging to find. But they are friendly, eager to please, healthy, and hardy. Coming from a line of spitz type dogs, they do well in cooler climates, but may also be fine in hot weather with some precautions. The Teddy Roosevelt Terrier is a vivacious, friendly, affectionate dog with his family, but can be somewhat of a one-person dog with a strong protective nature and strongly developed pack instincts. The Teddy Roosevelt Terrier gets along well with children when raised with them, cats, and even other dogs. It is a bold, tenacious hunter with seemingly unending energy whose size and endurance makes it an awesome hunter of squirrels and rodents. Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are very pleasant companions in the home, they learn quickly and are up for any activity their owners engage in. A descendant of the previously mentioned Fox Terrier, the Tenterfield Terrier is a dog breed similar to the Rat Terrier. Developed in Australia, they are a strong, active, robust, and agile dog. Their smooth, short coat making them easy to care for family companions. Not actually a Spaniel, the Tibetan Spaniel is an intelligent and independent companion dog breed in Tibetan antiquity as a watchdog and a loving and playful companion. They are hardy and agile and resemble many of the Asian breeds that were created in Tibet, Japan, and China, including the Pekingese, Japanese Chin, Lhasa Apso, and the Shih Tzu. Also from Tibetan antiquity is the Tibetan Terrier, a gentle, agile, and sensitive hunting and guarding dog that these days spends more time on laps than hunting. They are the only terriers by name, as they are not true terriers, nor do they display any typical terrier traits. They're not hyper, have minimal prey drive, and are more laid back than any other representative of the terrier group. A true American-made breed, the Toy Fox Terrier is spunky, always aiming to please, intelligent, and the ideal dog for those who hate to groom. A true entertainer, snuggler, lap warmer, and exercise buddy, this companion dog has a lot to offer. However, beware, with all that enthusiasm for life, all that playfulness and curiosity, there is always a downside.
Called the Gentleman's Terrier, the toy Manchester Terrier is sleek, vivacious, and alert, and has the look of a teeny tiny Doberman. No relations. Terrier breeds have loads of energy, and the toy Manchester Terrier is no exception. They love to play, chase, fetch, and go for walks. Even though they are full of energy, they are very adaptable and will adjust themselves to whatever lifestyle you have. After they have burnt out all their energy, they can sit or sleep quietly on or next to you. The Volpino Italiano is a classic small dog with a large personality. They are affectionate, gentle, and above everything else, fearless. These dogs are curious and playful while still being protective of their family. Their loyalty is unmatched, and one can see how these dogs became so popular both to the royalty and the common man in Italy. They are an energetic, active breed, but don't need as much exercise as you might think. The Volpino Italiano can excel in dog sports if that's something of interest to you. Otherwise, it will be content to run and play around the yard. Calmer than the majority of terrier breeds, Welsh Terriers are sensitive, independent, and well-mannered, but with a mischievous streak and an uncanny ability to keep you entertained. This is an excellent family dog for anyone with children. They are loyal and devoted to their family, a great watchdog. Don't, however, expect these dogs to provide any sort of protection. They may be somewhat nervous of strangers, but they often ditch this initial shyness and enjoy anyone who seems happy to make their acquaintance. You might have learned of the West Highland White Terrier from its famous picture on the Caesar dog food packaging. Without a doubt, there is much more to attract you to this breed than their cute face. Described as an alert, active, independent, friendly breed, these little dogs are true to their terrier heritage. They are fast to win your heart with their energetic personality and their bright white coat that just accents their button nose, making them an initial hit among anyone who loves a people-oriented dog. Here is the ultimate small dog with huge personality. The best way to describe these dogs is that they live life to the fullest, never passing a chance to play, dig, run, hunt, chase, bark, or entertain their people. Their mischievous nature makes them hilarious and fun to be around. But with so much personality come some drawbacks, and they love to dig, they love the chase, and they love to bark. Just these traits by themselves can make them a difficult dog to own. Here's a confession. It took me a while to learn to say Zolo it's a quintily. It was even harder to learn to spell it correctly. This companion dog of Mexican ancestry can be traced back well before pre-Columbian times. Today, it is a pretty rare breed, but it is considered a national treasure of Mexico. The Zolo comes in several varying sizes, much like a poodle, standard miniature and toy. These unique dogs have a hairless body that actually radiates heat more strongly than a coated dog does. Ancient people used to use them as heating pads to help relieve the aches and pains they may have been having. With that being said, on a chilly winter's night, if you have a Zolo cup cuddled up next to you, you will be toasty all night long. It's hard to believe that a dog that weighs approximately 4 pounds was bred to be a rough and tough ratter, but the controlling, adventurous, and somewhat stubborn Yorkshire Terrier, or Yorkie for short, was bred for exactly that purpose. There is no other dog breed out there who exudes big dog attitude like the Yorkie, with their silky straight coat, tiny size, bright personality, and desire to be a close companion. These dogs make wonderful pets for a wide range of people from singles, families with older children, and seniors. They are just as happy lying on your lap as taking a long walk and will make a very good watchdog because they never miss a thing. Did you enjoy learning about all these small dogs? Are there any that we missed? Share your favorite in the comments below. I hope you'll subscribe and ring that notification bell for more. And as always, we'll see you next time.